We're doing a holiday food crawl at Disney's Hollywood Studios. Let's see. Hello everyone, I'm Jay. And I'm Sam. And you're watching the Theme Park Foodies and we are back at Disney's Hollywood Studios because they have recently released a slew of different holiday items. They have so many holiday treats that you can get here at Hollywood Studios. They always like, have the most, in my opinion. Yeah, well I feel like Magic Kingdom has a lot too, but they, it breaks them up between... The party exclusives. Yeah, and the ones you get all day. There are so many things here and unfortunately for our livers, everything is sweet. Uh, so I don't think we'll be eating every single option. We do a lot of times try to get most of the stuff. We'll probably be eating the things that appeal most to us. Anything on your mind, Sam, you want to try? Uh, there's a melted uh, snowman sugar cookie. Ooh, yes. Pizza Rizzo. Pizza that, Rizzo, okay, okay. There's, uh, there's a lot. I, I always like the stuff, they have a trolley car cafe, yeah, which is the Starbucks here. Yeah, so they have a whoopie pie and a gingerbread cookie. Yeah, and I do need some coffee right now because I am a bit tired. Um, I think they also have a candy cane shake. Yep. I wasn't able to get my shake last time, so hopefully that milkshake machine is working today. We'll be finding that out. Uh, and yeah, there's so many other things. And um, we'll probably stop by ABC Commissary to find out what they have and get some savory food too, because I need to break it up a bit. Yes. You ready? I'm ready. If you enjoyed the content, please like and subscribe. Join us for our holiday food crawl here at Disney's Hollywood Studios. We're inside and stop one is the Trolley Car Cafe. All right, this is our designated garbage can outside the Trolley Car Cafe. <laughs> You're already getting red icing on me. Yeah, that red velvet whoopie pie is very messy. I definitely recommend eating it with a spoon. Uh, we took B-roll shots with our hands and now they are covered in red velvet. But this is probably the thing I... love. <laughs> Uh, I feel like Trolley Car, Trolley Car Cafe always has really good options for the seasonal holidays. So Sam, what is that? It's a gingerbread cookie and it's shaped. I obviously knew what it was because it was a gingerbread cookie, yes. Yeah. Looks good. You gotta go ear first. It's like an American faking an English accent faking an American accent. Uh-oh. And uh, what was the drink that you got? No, you know, obviously chew. I don't want you, I don't want you to chew. Yes, we also we got some festive. This is, this is a really good one. We got the festive drinks. I got the almond cookie. It's a little dry. It's a, maybe it's a coffee cookie, you know. Pair it with your drink. Still really cute though. So what would you give it? One out of ten. Six for the cookie, and then what about the drink? The drink, I'm going nine. Oh wow. That's nine's high. Nines are high marks, Sam. Red velvet, whoopee pie. It has like some cool sprinkles around it, but it, this that thing is, is a mess. thick. Like yeah. that is huge. I don't think we should eat all this right now. No, we should not. Yeah. When we did the Halloween crawl, I felt so sick. <laughs> we got to really like limit peppermint. Yes, it's peppermint, um, like buttercream. Too much whoopee. Not enough, no wait, too much pie, not enough whoopee. <laughs> not enough whoopee. Like, let me, if I just, I'm gonna try to just like, go underneath. Also like, we're accustomed to Hershey pie, Hershey pie, mm. Hershey Park whoopee pies, which are top notch. With the drink. Those have next level whoopee. Yeah. This is too much pie. Not bad. Not good. Um, and by the way, iced sugar cookie latte. I'm gonna give this a, I'm gonna give it a five. Actually, no, I'll go six because the pie part is moist. I need more whoopee though. And it's a big portion. Mm -hmm. I always feel like these are six, yeah. cost effective snacks at Trolley Car. This is okay. You like this, right, Sam? Yeah. I think it has oat milk. Almond milk. Almond milk. Iced almond oh. milk sugar cookie latte. Oh, the oat milk is the espresso drink. Yeah, it's okay. Um, I'd give them both like double sixes. We are at the Dockside Diner for a very good looking treat. We'll see how if it tastes as good as it looks, Sam. So it's a vanilla bean marshmallow and it's on a cookie. I think there's some jam oh, okay. somewhere. And I don't know 
what's the proper way that you eat something like yeah, that. Yeah, I thought maybe we might need a... <laughs> I thought we might need a spoon for the cookie part. But you just went, you just, you just took the whole topper off the tree. I can respect that, you know, I can respect that. It's very sweet. Like, very, very, very sweet. Obviously, it's a marshmallow, which is just... When more sweetness is coming for us. Yeah, I wanted to try to... I don't think there's any jam. Maybe that's the bottom. I think it's in the center. No. Oh, it is in the bottom. Oh, yeah. I like that part. I like the cookie and the jam. Oh, okay. When it's a straight... Yeah, straight Sherry marshmallows. marshmallows a lot. Yeah. And that's something that I would probably get again just because way too much sugar. It looks very nice. Definitely picturesque. It's definitely cute. Um, I would go five. All right. All right. So I really consider ABC Commissary, I guess that's a not so hidden gem. Um, they have the, a mini bunt cake here. Moose. Yes. A reindeer moose. The mousse didn't appeal to me as much as the bun cake. I am a fan of mousse. I like goos. I'm a big fan of the goo. It, had, like, it was spiced orange and cherry flavored, so we were like, eh. Yeah, it is not my flavor. So the bun cake is what we went for. We also got some savory food because you can't eat too much sweet, you know? It's too much glucose. I have learned from doing these crawls that you need real food and you need <laughs> water. water. Yes, your body can't process the sugar unless it's hydrated. And that's because yeah. you need it. So, um, so I got the salad. I love the salad egg. I, the salad's actually, that is a very yeah, good quick service salad. Hummus is really good and it's it's a nice portion and it's just a, Yeah. So Sam's going to try her salad out first. Like we said, savory before the sweet, even though we had some sweet before the savory. Oh, it's Mediterranean. Greek is in the Mediterranean. Greece is in the Mediterranean. I like it. I like the hummus. I like when I'm done, I like to make like a little sandwich with it. I put a little... Yeah, it looks good. It's yeah, it's good. It's The hummus is good. It's very simple. Yeah. Like, it's just a good quick service salad. Uh, what would you give it? One out of ten. Seven. Alright, so usually you can get like steak fries with uh, the grilled cheese. The buffalo chicken grilled cheese is another, I think. Or you could get apple yeah. slices. Yeah. And at the last minute, Jay changed his mind to the salad. Because I, I don't we're think we're having such hefty meals today, but like, what I don't like is that this salad has cranberries in it. I'm not a big fan of my sweets in my salad. That's just me. I'm not saying it is bad if you do that. At all tastes is subjective. These numbers are suggestive. We just do them for fun. Um, so I think it might hinder this salad, my enjoyment of it. I'm going to try it. I've never had it before. It has walnuts on top of it, as well as the, um, the cranberries, and it's arugula. Are those nuts? Hmm? Are those nuts? Yeah, walnuts. I got apple slices in it too. <laughs> That's not everyone's thing. I can see a lot of people really enjoying this. I think it's a high quality, quick service dish. Just for me, after eating all the sugar I just ate, I wasn't looking for walnuts and apples. I didn't know this was the salad that came with it. This is, why you should, this is why you should always choose the fries as an option. I don't feel safe giving this a number just because I'm not in the right state of mind to be eating a salad like this. I don't think it's that serious. I just feel bad. I don't want to doubt the right salad. state of mind. Mm -hmm. The um, grilled cheese though is... Mm -hmm. That's going to make up for your not liking your salad. It's a good grilled cheese. Comes with a buffalo dipping sauce. For the salad I'm going to give it a five. Just because I think it's just middle of the road for me. It is high quality and you might like it. It's very well made. All right, so buffalo, chicken grilled cheese, buffalo dipping sauce. Not a good grilled cheese in Hollywood Studios. Two of my favorite things together. Easily. Do you like that better than Woody's favorite. grilled cheese? Mm -hmm. Ooh. Others above love Woody's. I put Woody's like a six or a seven. It's just, Woody's is very thin. This is like a real homemade grilled cheese. Nothing beats the Milton's grilled cheese in Hershey Park. <laughs> I feel like we've been, we've been uh, bringing up Hershey a lot lately. If you've never seen our Hershey Park videos yet, Hershey. they have a, a place called Milton's, which is actually one of my favorite quick service options. It's Milton's ice cream parlor. But it has a 
grilled cheese is just amazing. Not Milton's level, but a high quality grilled cheese. I'm gonna give this an eight. All right, so this is the bun cake. It's very sparkly. It's a mini. Yeah, mini cheese sparkles. She does you got a sparkle on you. All it right, is so. a spice cake rolled in cinnamon sugar with apple pie filling and topped with spiced maple buttercream and salted caramel icing. I almost want to move Minnie's bow. Sorry, Minnie. Just do a cut down the center. Let's see how that filling looks. Oh, this is good. I just had a little bit off the work. It's a lot of flavors. It's like an apple pie bun cake. That's the best way I could describe it. I'm gonna try a real flavor now. I feel like spiced maple buttercream sounds good. Mm -hmm. And salted caramel. It's like I said, drizzle is the caramel. And then... My only issue is that the bun cake itself is a little dry. I was gonna, gonna say it looks a little dry. You're gonna come into Issues like these with mass produced items like this. So I can't really fault them as much for it, but it's still gonna be not down a few points. The flavor profile though is right up my alley. It just tastes like apple pie transformed into a bun cake with that gooey buttercream on the top. So I like a sugary goo. I feel like um, lately you've been switching to goo instead of wet. I like wet, no, because this isn't wet, it's dry. No, I know, but I was like, I mean, this like goo has been like your new word. This is a wet. Look at that, that's, that's wet wet. This cream, that's a goo. Goos and wets. They make, they make, those textures make a dish. Um, I like this a lot. If it was moist, it'd probably go for an eight. I'm gonna probably give, I'm gonna give it a seven. Still good. All right, so if you could find a table at Woody's Lunchbox, it's like winning the lottery. <laughs> you can never find a table here. Um, but so it's luckily not too hot. Oh yeah, we're, thanks though, man. Every year, actually, they literally just walk up. Thanks for <laughs> um, This is the Woody's lunchbox cart. Uh, it's the holiday one, obviously. Hot, Hot chocolate. chocolate flavored. I don't think I've ever had a chocolate one from here. Um, do they make chocolate pop tarts? They make chocolate frosted pop tarts. Mm. Oh, you know, they make ones with chocolate. I like the s'mores pop tart. Mm. It's too much for me. Uh. It's just too much chocolate. I never thought I would hear that. Because it dries it out. There's a hot like a cocoa marshmallow cake. fondant. Yeah. Yeah. It's just too dry. But I do enjoy it. I like the way he's like I'm shocked because dry. this is usually our favorite item. Yeah. I'll give it a six. It's still a good pop tart. You know? But... I just feel like the chocolate dries it out. Maybe I was just eating too much sugar already too, because just sort of crawl, eating lots of things. Yeah, what number are we on? This is number five. Once we go over three, I start to tap out, which is kind of where I'm at right now. I got a little bit more muscle in my gut. I can keep going, but you know, this is a little dry. So uh, I'm gonna give it a six for me. All right, so s snack. Number six takes us to Muppets Courtyard, and it's Rat Pizza, Pizza Rizzo, for a cookie that Sam's looking forward to having. It's Rat Pizza, but we're not eating pizza. We're eating a cookie. I'm lucky if I can take one bite of this. This is the thing Sam was most looking forward to. It is, it's aesthetically very pleasing, definitely worth a picture, you know? These twigs are actually, I think, um, dark chocolate and raspberry or something. Marshmallow, dark chocolate hat. Yeah, that's, it white looks. This is a pool of white chocolate. Oh, that's a pool of white this chocolate. white chocolate, marshmallow, dark chocolate, raspberry, cocoa nibs. Oh, wow. We got a lot of thought went into this. Yeah. Sorry that he melted, but it's Florida. <laughs> So. Yeah, this ain't the place for if you're a snowman. And, and Pizza Rizzo has been on our list to do a whole video on in our series, is this the best pizza in Disney World? I've been hearing some positive or mixed, I should say mixed reviews about Pizza Rizzo. Some love it, some hate it. Not a lot of in-betweeners on the Rizzo pizza. It's a good sugar cookie. It is. Mm. It's, it's like chewy. It's not like super hard. He looks very like festive. And I like that it's kind of like he's already pre-mixed into the, um, 
cookie already. Like it's like melted in. It's good. I like this a lot. It has the moisture level on it. It's moist. Yeah. Moist, chewy. But then like the top has a little crunch. But it's not like, do you know some sugar cookies are just like yeah. super hard? Mm -hmm. One out of ten. Eight. Eight's really high. And that might be the, yeah, the eighth has been the highest number, I think, this crawl. Now Santa Gertie is out. Gertie's got the hat on, but it's missing something, Sam. Yes, it used to have, it usually has a ball in its mouth. You see, it's it's puffing smoke, but no ball there. Like an ornament, usually an ornament's in its mouth. Thanks for specifying. <laughs> All right, so Sunset Boulevard is the spot for our final treat on our crawl here. Sunset Boulevard is always so nice during uh, the holidays, right, Sam? Yeah, I wish it was nighttime. I've been waiting for this shake. <laughs> I've never had a shake at Hollywood Scoops. It looks very messy. And you were very sad in our Halloween crawl when we I wanted get one. I don't even like candy corn, but I wanted that shake. You, I think you just wanted the donut, to be honest. True, I think there's one. a donut on top. I love crazy shakes. I just like how looking at them. This is chocolate donut? Yeah. This is Hollywood Scoops. Right in front of Tower Terror. There's actually cones in the garlic. Oh, <laughs> candy cones. That's actually peppermint flavored. Donut? donut on top. Yeah. Is it the icing? I, that's peppermint. I don't think the donut itself is peppermint. The donut itself is flavored. Really? Like peppermint, yeah. Well, well, it really tastes, hold on. I think it's the icing, Jay, and I think the donut is just a chocolate donut. No, it's, don't, well, no, it's the icing. Yeah. I, I didn't even eat it, and I knew it, right? <laughs> the vanilla overpowers everything. The most peppermint thing is the donut. Or bun cake. There's more of a bun cake than a donut. It's okay. I've had, I've had shakes at Hershey Park, and you can't really beat a Hershey. I know we keep going back to Hershey Park, go back to our roots, Sam. So where this vlog started was Hershey Park. So I can't. Yeah, we have high standards with. Yeah. Certain desserts. It's not bad. Is it it's very not, thick? I didn't even see thick. you it's drank the shake. It's certainly a thick boy. Um, oh, it's a boy. Yes, it be a thick girl too. You know. Six, because it's I, it's got some peppermint in there. It's it's flavored well. It's mixed well. It's just not spectacular. So six it is. One above average for the theme. All right. So Sam is trying the shake out. I think you have a little bit of a different opinion than I me, think, Sam. I think the shake bar is actually really good. I like the shake too. You know that it's like melted more and like all the whipped cream mixed in. Like it's super creamy. Like whatever I, the ice cream that they use there is good. I yeah. haven't I haven't tried the donut, but I think the shake part. Do you taste the peppermint? I taste mostly vanilla, not peppermint. I taste pepper. I taste a little peppermint, but I'd rather it be not so over like pounded. Okay. So I don't mind that it tastes like vanilla. So I went six. Everyone has a different. I said seven, but I haven't had the donut. The donut is. Why don't you just pick it up with your hand? Yeah, girl. It's a good donut. Actually, you're right. I do taste more peppermint. On the icing. Right? Yeah, the donut's got a little peppermint punch. I mean, I, I, mean, I keep it higher than a six. I would go seven. And it's near Tower of Tower, which is my favorite ride, so. Makes sense. All right, so that does it for our food crawl here, our holiday food crawl at Disney's Hollywood Studios. Your favorite item, Sam? I think the melted snowman cookie. Yeah, it was very good. I would, I would probably go with the bun cake. The bun uh, with cake the was good. With the apple in the center. I didn't try the tart. Okay. Yeah. I have, we have a whole box of leftovers. Yeah. <laughs> mishmash, so. Yeah, and there's a lot of sugary stuff, so definitely, uh, I don't think it would be proper for us to eat all of it. I will say ABC Commissary is hitting it with those savory options. Mm -hmm. That uh, buffalo chicken grilled cheese is so good. I definitely recommend that. The salad, yeah, great. Uh, savory options over there found at ABC Commissary. I also love the decor here at Hollywood Studios. It's very like retro, vintage, 1950s type aesthetic for Hollywood Studios. You have uh, the um, Echo Lake with the uh, 
Santa Gertie. With Santa Gertie, as well as all the ornaments that are in the lake, the big tree with the Santas in the tree. Then when you go down Sunset Boulevard, uh, you can see like, uh, you know, you get close to the ice cream shop, there's ice cream cones and the garland. You have the tinsel, just very nice, a great aesthetic. Uh, I wish we could see it at night. But, yeah, we gotta come back. you know, duty calls. We, we gotta go home, we gotta shop, we gotta get ready for the week. Uh, but we definitely enjoyed our time here. There was enjoyed something eating. that we missed that I didn't really want, though. Oh, yes. It was a cupcake at Rosie's. All American chocolate Cafe. chocolate cupcake, yeah. and it had, like, mocha center. Yeah. So, and there was, like, hot chocolate flights and spiked hot chocolates and things like that. But mm -hmm. we, we kind of... We can't film over an extended period of time. We only have a small time to film, so there's only so much we can do. So well, we'll so much I can eat. Like, yeah, it's yeah, just like, a lot of food. So yeah, we had a good time though. We, have to, we yeah. have to pick and choose. Yeah, we'll try to come back for that. You know, it's a tight holiday season, but we got some time left. Um, and um, I'm looking forward to hopefully eat more things as the season goes on. And if you enjoy the content, please like and subscribe. Liking will really help our channel grow. It pushes this video out into the stratosphere of the YouTube algorithm. Helps other people find the video. Subscribing also helps our channel grow. Hit the bell notification so that way you're notified every time the videos come out. Which is when, Sam? Every Monday and Thursday at 12 p.m. Thanks so much for watching. Don't count the days. I make the days count. We'll see you next time. That's all, folks. Yeah, like, just such a picturesque shot. Yeah. Look at that. Mickey just, like, greeting you as the sunset, or as the sun goes down. And then lots of treats. I feel like we should make, like, a sundae and just, like, throw all of these things. Oh, yeah, we could do that. Yeah.